Welcome back. You are with Articosa, the face of mathematics. Continuing with set proofs, we'll be focusing on the set proof part four. So, but first, we'll have to solve the exercise which I last left on the set proof part two. In this video, we'll be proving the symmetric difference. But first, let us show that if a b and c are sets then a minus b minus c is the same as a minus c minus b minus c so we just have to show this and our proof goes this way suppose x is in a minus b minus c then x is in a minus b and x is not in c so x is in a but not in b since we know that x is in the difference a minus b and hence x is in a minus c but x is not in b minus c this is true because you know very much well that your x is in A and your x is not in C as we said. So it will be in A minus C. And since your x is also not in B, it won't be in B minus C. Because for it to be in B minus C, it has to be in B. So it's not in B and it's also not in C. It means it won't be in B minus C. Proceeding further, since we know that x is in a minus c, but not in b minus c, consequently, x will be an element of a minus c minus b minus c. And for that reason, we have shown that if x is an element of a minus b minus c, it will be an element of a minus c minus b minus c so we'll say a minus b minus c is a subset of a minus c minus b minus c conversely we'll let x to be in a minus c minus b minus c and we show that x will be in a minus b minus c so, if x is an element of a minus c minus b minus c, then x is in a minus c and x is not in b minus c. Since x is in a minus c, then our x is in a but not in c. And so, x not being in b minus c, implies that x is not in b since we already know it's not in c so x is an element of a minus b since you know that it's in a but not in b and also x will be an element of a minus b minus c since it's also not in c and this proves that a minus c minus b minus c it's also a subset of a minus b minus c therefore we can conclude that a minus b minus c and a minus c minus b minus c are the same and that's it for your proof. So look at it carefully and try to see if you understand. Uh, moving to the business of the day, symmetric difference. The symmetric difference exists between uh, two sets. We can have uh, sets A and B. So is given by the union of their differences, which are uh, this joint set as you can see so 
it depends on which notation you are used to for the symmetric difference so use that one that you're used to so this uh, is the same as a union b minus a intersect b so giving you a clear picture about this so a minus b is this position then you'll have to add or as we said we are seeing the union with the other portion which is b minus a talking about this and you'll get a union b so i'll have to shade everything for this then you subtract the intersection means I only have to shade the common side which is the intersection there you go hopefully uh, you are getting alone I have demonstrated this very much well so what we're doing here we're just proving using the sets uh, from the Venn diagram as you can see so we are about to prove it mathematically the way that you know we have to show that two sets are equal they have to be subsets of each other so let's begin let x be an element of a minus b union b minus a then x is in a minus b or x is in b minus a so since we are not sure where x is but we have a showcase that x is in one of the two so we'll have to check if x is in a minus b will we get this result and also if x is in b minus a we'll get the same result now that's how the union works what happens if x is in a minus b then x is in a and x is not in b and so x it won't be an element of a intersect b but it will be the element of a union b since it's already in a even though it's not in b hence x is an element of a union b minus a intersect b so we have shown that if this is the case x is contained in a minus b it will be contained in a union b minus a intersect b and now what about if x is contained in b minus a will it still implies the same thing so x being an element of b minus a means that x is in b and x is not in a and so still x won't be in a intersect b since we know it's not in a but it will be in the yeah, union and again x is still an element of a union b minus a intersect b so regardless of x being in a minus b or x being in b minus a we get the result that x is indeed in a union b minus a intersect b so it means that a minus b union b minus a is a subset of a union b minus a intersect b and conversely we'll have to let x be an element of a union b minus a intersect b and show that it will be in a minus b union b minus a and that's when we can conclude that these two are equal conversely suppose x an element of a union b minus a intersect b then x is an element of a union b and x is not in a intersect b so x is an element of a or x is an element of b and x is not in a intersect b and also x is an element of a and x is not in a intersect b or x is in b and x is not in a intersect b by 
distributive law. So either x an element of a and x not in a intersect b or x an element of b and x not in a intersect b we'll have to show that x is in a minus b union b minus a if x is an element of a and x is not in a intersect b then x is not in b since we know that it is in a and the only reason that it won't be in the intersection it means it's not in b and so x is in a minus b hence x is in a minus b union b minus a since we are sure that x is in a minus b so we have shown that if x is in a and x is not in a intersect b x it will be contained in a minus b union b minus a what about if x is in b and x is not in a intersect b then x it won't be in a since we know that it's in b but it's not in a intersect b so the reason is that x is not in a in this case and so x it will be in b minus a which will imply that x is an element of a minus b union b minus a since we are certain that it's indeed in b minus a so regardless of the two cases you can see this case or this case x it will be in the union of their differences as you can see so hence a union b minus a intersect b is also a subset of a minus b union b minus a and therefore we have proven the symmetric difference therefore a minus b union b minus a is the same as a union b minus a intersect b thanks for watching and keep on subscribing